Because the cheesecake needs to sit in the fridge for a good long while, I always get started with this the night before. The base is made like most cheesecake bases, that's to say, a mixture of digestives and butter. Then I add two other ingredients, some chocolate hazelnut spread and some chopped hazelnuts. I then blitz all these ingredients together until they resemble damp sand. Tip this mixture into a cake tin and press it down smooth. The base is made and ready in the fridge. I now have to make the topping, which is as easy as uno, due, tre. So uno, it is a cheesecake, so we have cream cheese. As easy as this is, I have got some very strict stipulations. And chief of those is that the cream cheese must be at room temperature. You will never get a gorgeously smooth texture in a cheesecake if the cream cheese is fridge cold. Due. Icing sugar, not an awful lot, because there is sweetness to come. This, incidentally, is a no-bake cheesecake. So it's just a question of mixing up a topping, slathering it onto the base and putting it in the fridge to set. And now, tre, and very important, chocolate hazelnut paste. Now, I do know, I really do, that cheesecake is not Italian. But you know what? I have a pot of Italy right here. The chocolate hazelnut paste, originally called pasta gianduia, was one of my early discoveries when I first went there, and I just fell in love with it. I'm determined to get every last bit out of this. Now I'm just mixing these three ingredients together, and while they're mixing, I shall slink off and retrieve my base. Riesce sempre a farti innamorare, non ti fidare di stelle galeotte che invitano a Looks perfect to me. All smooth and whipped. Mezzanotte per amore, mezzanotte per This is my treat later.